Well, it is that time again. What time is it? It's time to do a size comparison. How big is Giga Texas, especially with the addition compared to some of the other very large, very famous buildings of tremendous size? Let's find out. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. A quick thank you to today's sponsor, Joa, who made this video possible. Uh, they provide an amazing array of uh, third-party accessories for your Tesla. I have a bunch, I use them all, and every one of them that I've ever gotten is still in use in my car. That's true of all the accessories I've ever gotten, because I'm very selective about it. Uh, although it's uh, uh, coming into autumn, so I may be taking down the sunshade in the in the roof glass soon. Uh, get 5% off with coupon code AZA. AZA or AZA5. I mean, who knows? It's probably both. Uh, yeah, check them out. They've got some pretty cool stuff. Okay, you guys, so here it is. It ain't pretty, but it is what it is. This is a little place you may know of. It is called Jija Tejas. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then uh, we can add on the extension. You can see it right here. Uh, but let's add it on anyhow. Boom, looks like that. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'm gonna pull those out. And now we've got the Boeing plant in Everett. This is famously the largest building in the world. It's not, it's the largest by cubic volume because the ceiling has to be high enough to comfortably accommodate the tail of the largest jumbo jet Boeing makes. If we were to look at it compared to uh, Giga Texas, it would look like that. Perhaps not as big as we thought. But this does have two, three, four floors in different places. And compared to this single building here, yes, I can see the comparison. Let's move on to the Mall of America. Uh, at one point, this was the largest mall in the world. Pretty cool. Uh, how big is it compared to Giga Texas? Well, yeah, that's a lot bigger factory. I think. Uh, so uh, I had a chance to go autocross racing with Scott recently at uh, this place. Pretty cool. It is um, a great big track out in the middle of uh, Packwood, Washington. I guess the edge of Packwood. You can kind of see where the track goes. We raced starting here, over to here, down here, swoop back here, down here, over here, and finish line. Race, race, race. How big is uh, Giga Texas compared to this? Well, wow. That's fairly bulky. That's my gosh. You could have, well, considering there's multiple floors, eight autocross circuits inside of there at any given time. It's pretty bulky. Here's JFK Airport. How big is it compared to Giga Texas? Ba boom. That's a big factory. Remember, it goes all the way down here, you guys, all the way to this edge down here. It's pretty big. Uh, what else? Atlanta Airport. That's got to be an interesting one, I assume. This is the airport. Terminal, terminal, other stuff. Boom. That's a pretty big factory compared to the Atlanta Airport. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, why don't we do Denver International Airport? Ooh, look at all that space. So much room for activities. That's a big factory, my friends. That is a very bulky place. And remember, the factory is like 100 feet tall. Uh, if you go into final assembly, which I got the chance to do, footage unavailable, I was not allowed to photograph anything, uh, you will see that it's massive, it's cavernous. And then you will remember, oh, wait, there's this much again above it. A lot more productive space. So when I was driving back from uh, Michigan, I went by a very large GM plant. It's uh, Spring Hill, which is a uh, huge. It's genuinely ginormous. Um, but compared to Texas, yeah, this looks bigger to me, but it's a series of buildings. What we're looking at here is efficiency. There is, if everything is close together, you save time, time, distance, money. So uh, while this may be larger, once fully ramped, it is believed Giga, Tesla, uh, Giga Texas will have more output. Remember, the factory in Shanghai is only as many square feet as this, not cubic, but square. Uh, and that means that they have uh, 
more production. Um, they put out about a million cars a year in a factory with roughly this square footage, though it's two plus buildings. Well, what about Ford? I had a chance to tour the Ford Rouge plant, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's a mess. It is such an antiquated mess. And Giga Texas is still quite large. I mean, if you added all these buildings together, it's probably more square footage. Maybe not. It might be one story through most of it. I only had the opportunity to see final assembly. Pretty interesting. GM's biggest plant is Hamtrak. That sounds like a train I would absolutely go on, provided that the ham is complimentary. Uh, we've got this. So that's pretty big, uh, considering this is the parking I'm putting it over. These buildings combined, mostly one story. Hmm. All right. Stellantis has a very big place in Detroit. It looks like this. It's these buildings. It might be these buildings as well. Yeah, those are also part of it. Um, Giga Texas, this big. And again, this is mostly one story. So even if you add those, I mean, my gosh. The Nissan uh, Smyrna plant in Tennessee looks a bit like this. Oh, you know what? That looks bigger. Is it bigger? We'll find out as we see production uh, increase over the coming years. Then we have, by request from a viewer, Gary. Gary uh, I lives in the UK, I believe. And he uh, asked me to uh, compare it to the size of the Devonshire Dock Hall, which is a, a very big place uh, from... There are pictures on screen right now of the Devonshire Dock Hall. And here we go. That's a little bigger. So Gary has been inside this building and found it unfathomably large. He said, could you compare it? And boom, here we go. And remember, this extends all the way down to here. It's a big place. Uh, this is just kind of silly. This is one of the arenas in Austin. It's the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And it looks ridiculous. That's not even a fair comparison. Uh, but let's get back to some serious stuff. Las Vegas Convention Center. That's a good one. Um, it's big. If you've ever been there, I mean, there's a boring tunnel beneath it. That's a sign of bigness, I think is the scientific term. And Giga Texas. Wow. It is huge. And again, remember, this is two, three, four stories in places. So it is a very big place. Now, this is the National Mall. Uh, this is the reflecting pool that you watched Forrest Gump frolic throughout. Uh, this is where the I Have a Dream speech was. This is where I believe uh, uh, the um, inaugurations are held. Well, let's see how big it is. That's ginormous. That means that the largest uh, public events ever held on the National Mall would comfortably fit on the ground floor of Giga Texas. That's, that's a big place. Now, if we want to go silly, let's look at uh, this. This is, this is proper silly. This is, uh, that's too silly. Okay, let me bring it back a bit. This is uh, Central Park. Where I go uh, several times 30 years ago. So we go this. And by the way, there's a, what is it? What's it called? The, um, yeah, Metropolitan Art Museum. Truly wonderful. I had a student ID at the time. Um, this is not big enough, but it'll do. Boom. So it's not huge compared to Central Park. It would just about fit in the lake. But Central Park is famously quite big quite big. Uh, and then just for fun, I figured, why not throw on our good friends, Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium, you know, where all the uh, tennis happens. It's uh, pretty exciting, I guess, if you like tennis or the footy or I don't know, the handy. Do they call it the handy? Um, I just call it sore elbow. Here's Giga Texas. And again, it stretches all the way out to here. So that is how big it is. Uh, you guys, <laughs> we have some fun here. What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave it. 
leave it into them in the comments below. There will be a part two to this if and you tell me what you'd like to see this uh, compared to in size. Happy to help. Let me know. Uh, everybody else, like, subscribe. Pretty please like. Pretty please subscribe. Consider becoming a patron or a subscriber on X or a channel member on YouTube. All of those help because this is lean living. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the next one.